you know, my parents in Europe, and they had a girl. They didn't want her to become conceited, so they said, you know, you don't really look very well, or nobody will want to marry you. You grew up with a feeling of inferiority complex. I was very interdependent on other people's judgment. When you're very young, you don't know any better, and, and you also want to fit in. When I was younger, I felt very poor. I felt everybody has more than me and I'm very neglected. Now I feel I'm a millionaire spiritually. Mm. I don't depend on somebody else to say you're nice or you're a good person. I know who I am now. I see so many people and I say these poor shlums, they could be so happy. And I never felt I belong. Now I feel wherever I am, I belong. And it's a wonderful feeling. I love color combination. I immediately know when I have a scarf and it just doesn't go in colors. So these things give me great pleasure. I take a hot bath. I love heat. And I love it surrounding me. And I love bathrooms, brutals, you know, the bubbles. And that's my great luxury in the morning. I went to a wig shop and I tried on several wigs in different colors. And none looked like me. And finally I got back to the red. And they said, this is me. And this is me because it has a certain amount of craziness, of freedom, it's kind of wild. And that's what I feel about my life now. I'm truly free inside. I can love, I can give, I can take. It's a wonderful free feeling. Well, I'm more experimental when I do my drawings and my paintings where I was afraid I might spoil it and it might not look good. I don't think of it as good and bad. I think of it as a new experience. I never gave myself credit when I did Ayn Rand's portrait, when I did Tennessee Williams. I thought I was terrified of doing it. Now I say, my God, look at the things you've done in your life. And you never acknowledged it. When you're older, like in my age, I give myself credit when I bend down and I have a hard time bending. I am now 93. It's a wonderful thing when you have your facilities still in an old age and you can function and you can do and be useful, but you live on the edge. I walk without a cane and sometimes I have a dizziness in my head. I'm like a drunk and I didn't even have vodka. You still have sexual feelings. You still can enjoy yourself. You still can have terrific orgasms. They're probably much better than they were earlier because you always thought, am I pleasing my partner in this way? You really let go. Ah! Sometimes out of nowhere, sometimes when you're very tired and suddenly bingo, you feel very sensuous. It's not that you have to read a book to be excited or see pictures or pornography. I had a very cruel uncle. And when I grew my bosom, he said, hey, what have you got there? You have a balcony, you're growing some geraniums on it. So I was so embarrassed, I used to walk always like this to cover up. Whatever you have, your body is your friend. Whatever you got, what stands up, what falls down, whatever it is in your body. You have a nose to breathe, eyes to see, ears to hear, mouth to kiss. I'm still inventive, I'm still working. I have a lot of love in me and I have a lot of gift.